You can get cavities from kissing? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about three things that can spread through your saliva while kissing. And before we get started, make sure to get my free oral care guide. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to join thousands who have already discovered all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile and making your mouth more kissable. And having said that for today's video, let's talk about cavities from kissing. Research has found that kissing can result in the exchange over 80 million types of bacteria. Research also shows that the main contributor to similar bacterial levels was bacteria found on the surface of the tongue. So what this means is that intimate kissing, French kissing, which includes more tongue action, contributes to more bacteria exchange. So can you actually get cavities from kissing? The short answer is yes, you can. A specific type of bacteria known as Streptococcus mutants is what causes tooth decay or cavities and this strain of bacteria can easily be transferred through kissing, sharing utensils or drinks, and any other close contact with one another. Other strains of bacteria that contribute to gum disease can also be transferred when kissing and this is extremely important to understand for those who may kiss a newborn baby. You've probably seen people arguing on TikTok whether or not you should kiss a baby or a child on the lips. This is where that stems from since babies are the most susceptible to bacteria transfer. Mission. Now back to intimate kissing. We all know that us humans are social animals and rely on building relationships and bonding. And generally, kissing is a healthy act that comes with many health benefits, such as happy hormones, boosting self-esteem, lowering stress, anxiety, and blood pressure, and increasing your immune system. However, it's important to know the three risks of kissing and how to avoid them. Starting with number one, cavities and gum disease. Like we said, kissing can in fact spread cavity-causing bacteria via shared saliva and cause tooth decay in an otherwise healthy cavity-free mouth. Same with gum disease. Number two, cold sores can be spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact, including kissing someone with the cold sore virus. While active herpetic lesions such as cold sores may be visible and more obvious to avoid, a shedding period when the virus is not visible is also a high risk for transferring the virus. And number three, illnesses such as the common cold, mono, hepatitis B, and meningitis. When you kiss, you can transfer more than just saliva. The mucus that is found in the back of the throat can also be transmitted when kissing, which is often the culprit of spreading these viral and bacterial infections. So is kissing good or bad for health? While some bad and some good can come from kissing, kissing does seem more beneficial than bad. The many health benefits such as happy hormones, boosting self-esteem, lowering stress, anxiety, and blood pressure, and increasing your immune system generally outweigh the risk especially when you're practicing safe kissing by knowing and trusting those you kiss since it can help reduce the spread of unwanted bacteria and viruses. So always be open and honest with your partners and discuss boundaries to practice safe kissing. And most importantly, although the bacteria responsible for cavities and gum disease can be transmitted via kissing, the presence of this bad bacteria in your mouth does not automatically mean you will catch the diseases. Your defense is your own oral hygiene and healthy oral microbiome. So that's good news. Maintaining good oral hygiene habits at home and staying on top of your dental visits will increase your mouth's defense against dental disease. So in all, not only will your dental home care help you be more kissable, since proper dental care reduces your chances of bad breath, right? But in addition, it will also help lower your chances of catching any of these diseases. So if you're interested in creating the perfect routine, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide and join thousands who have already discovered all of the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile and making your mouth more kissable and disease free. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.